Hi everybody, this is Melissa from vmist.net and today we're going to take a look at how to update our VMware vCenter server. So in one of our earlier videos, we came in here and we did some stuff in vCenter and we saw that we had a new update available. We clicked view updates and we went over the new feature in vSphere 7, which was VMware vCenter server update planner and that helps us make sure that everything in our environment is compatible before we do a vCenter server update or upgrade, right? So when we say a vCenter update we're talking about essentially a patch right you can see there's not a big change in a version number or anything like that it's not like we're going from six to seven so it's a very simple patch and i'm going to show you how to apply it so the first thing we need to do is come to vcenter server open a new window and we need to navigate to the vcenter server appliance management interface also called the vami right so all you need to do is add port 5480 to the end of your fqdn of your vcenter server Log in, and this is what we're going to see. Um, oh, haha, ha, we have a memory alert. We can look at that later. But if we come on over to update here, we can let it do its thing a little bit. And what we're going to see is we're going to see an update available to our vCenter server. All right, so we can see that we have some update available. Get a little more information about it. Uh, patch update for vCenter server 7 is what we're running. Run pre-update checks to determine estimated downtime priority low so you know there's no kind of security things or anything crazy like that so we're going to go and apply this and you can see that there's some places it's going to tell us ah, right here there's no reboot uh, required which is great so we have two options here stage and stage and install what stage is going to do is it's basically just going to download the patch for us so when we go to install it later on it's a little bit faster but what we're going to do because we don't really have any time constraints and this isn't a production environment right this is my little nested vCenter environment, so who cares? We're gonna click stage and install. We're gonna see a EULA here. It's gonna run some update pre-checks. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now that just from experience, there's no way that this is gonna take 97 minutes. It's gonna be pretty quick. Um, it's really important though that you back up your vCenter server before any update or patch, right? We always wanna back up our environment before making a change because if something blows up, we can just restore it. Uh, of course, I backed up vCenter. We're going to click finish and then installation in progress. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this sit for a little while and do its thing. You can see it's going to download everything and it's going to install it for us. So let's just give this a couple of minutes. I'll speed up the video a little bit, but I'm telling you it's not going to take 97 minutes or whatever crazy amount of time that it told us it would. Okay, so our update is complete. It took a little bit over 20 minutes, much less than that estimate of 93. Keep in mind, this is a really small environment that's nested that I just use for testing and stuff like that. But okay, let's click close. Uh, we're gonna need to re-log in here. We can see that no updates are found because we're running the la latest version here. We go back to summary, everything looks excellent. So we come back to our VCSA, uh, no longer authenticated because it did a bunch of stuff. So let's just go. And once we log into vCenter, we can see we no longer have the update available message. If we head over to our environment, we click on our vCenter server. It's run the latest version of vCenter, no updates. And everything looks great in our environment. Ignore my vSAN errors. This is a nested environment and vSAN is sometimes not happy. But really the takeaway at the end of the day is updating or patching your vCenter server is really simple. You just need to come and log into this VAMI interface, port 5480. Um, so when you see a patch is available, especially if it's critical, right? Sometimes there's security updates in some of these apply it right it's not a hard process you saw what i did right here it's a couple of clicks vcenter server does everything for you you can check compatibility before you update and that's about it that's how you patch vcenter server